La pression is due, and we've got to back it up after a great performance against Bordeaux last round. The pressure certainly is on full tap here as we take on the slowly brief side. Bonjour everyone and welcome back along to Montpellier career mode where yes, after we take on the best, we now take on one of the worst. This is usually where we slip up. Today, as we get near the end of the season, we make sure that doesn't happen. We've rotated a few players in and out, and we're trying to keep the team fresh for this game against the 10th place brief side. You may notice a few changes, like some Gomez has come in at a loose head prop. Tolofua, straight back from injury, straight into the starting lineup. To Corrado, a little bit of a rest. In the back row, Sam Underhill gets a probably deserved start after sitting on the bench pretty much all season and giving Kulisi a bit of a breather. Tommaso Allen was brilliant two rounds ago on his cameo off the bench. He didn't get a chance to impress against Bordeaux today. He has that, the starting number 10 jumper. The back line gets a little bit of a mix-up as well. Maxi Boy Malins, I wanted to get back in the team in some capacity. He starts at outside centre. Minozzi comes into the right wing, and that leaves the opportunity here for Teddy Thomas to do something special in his sort of secondary position of wanting to try him out at fullback. Up against us in brief, there's some good players that are going to cause us a few little problems. This man certainly has the ability to make things happen. So we'll see if Fafita is a big man, a powerful, fast-running, explosive outside back. Stuart Olding is a man who certainly has led this team around season after season. An old head, a wise head, and the number 13 jumper. And of course, it is the South African international, Jesse Creel, wearing 12. The experienced Dave Carney's on the left wing, and he'll have his hands full to keep hold of the exciting Minozzi on our right side. But it's in the forwards where they probably do miss out on the explosive ability. Faso is the tackle-breaking machine, but aside from them, there's not much else. Von Gien Benambi, the other star in that front row. Looking at their bench, there's not much to get excited about here either. Dargaville in 23 could add something to a, a pretty good already full backline. But aside from that, it's pretty average. For us, though, we've got plenty of explosiveness. Alvarez Tinaka, Budami Bakatawa, of course, but Sisson Bello is there, Khaleesi, Willem Sahamraj, Shilke, and Gouda Sally. If we need them, it'll be good, though, to keep those guys injury-free as we get now into our final six matches starting today. Of course, this brief side is on a 8-win, 12-loss season. They're not having a good year. And last time we beat them, 28 points to 7. Quite convincingly, as Davis gets us underway. The Welsh, number 10, kicks deep down to Gomez. Back in the starting lineup. And if we do our play our hand right here, we could get a good performance and a lot of points to the board. Underhill out to Max Malins, looking to get the wheels rolling. And he does so eventually. Away from Duran. And then for the opening try, three minutes in, Max Malins hits the accelerator. And the play button is firmly pushed down. Welcome back to the starting lineup, Max Malins. All sparked from Sam Underhill, Englishman to Englishman, and it looked a little bit like Gerrard may have the pace on Malins, but he just got to top gear in time to outpace the brief fullback. What a start. I don't think Tommaso Allen's touched the ball yet. He's run out on the field, had a bit of a practice, and now he's kicking a conversion. What an opening four minutes here for Montpellier. Max Malins, though, all sparked off a strong Sam Underhill run. And just like that, we're up seven points to nil. It's time to put those demons to bed. Those ones of the lowly place sides pushing us much further than they should be. We are a contender for this title. We need to play like it. We need to act like it as well. It's so far. Oh, we're doing it easy on the forwards at the moment. What a run there from the hooker. Dupont waits, finds Demba Bamba. Quite a couple of weeks with Demba. He's lost the ball in the breakdown there. And it's fed up to Creel. He takes the tackle and Breve had the ball for the first time tonight. And they break through through holding. 
turnover from Stunder. And he's going to lose that straight away. Isolating the tackle. And now for Vita. Banks for Pimpy. He's free. He's got support. Finds a nice corner of Banami. On throws brilliantly to a hard running still. And he gets him just short of the 22. Here's Lay. One off throw for Vita. Pops it back. And Banami's to the 22. The Springboks having a great field day so far. Krill and a Banambi all over this game, but Underhill says no! Turns it over, and a high shot from Krill shuts down our counter-attack in a flash. What a passage there from Breve. But Underhill turned it away just in the nick of time. And now Tommaso Allen's going to use the wind here to try and hook this one towards the touchline. Well played too. And how about what Fafita's off of this game so far? A couple of big line breaks. And good support lines from the likes of Imanami who have sparked this team into action after they've gone behind. Seven points to nil very early on. He's still a four at fine stuff. For Newitt, here's Tommaso Allen. Oh, he loves the step. Allen breaks it through. He has the flank one. Malins, numbers, Lamarpe. Is he going to pass or is he going to bulldoze? Looks for option B. He gets taken down and a good tackle by Geran. Dupont slow to get back. Keeps it short. Gomez busts through half a tackle. Sets it up six metres short. Dupont again. Placines deep line now. Malin steps inside. Breaks through one. Can't get through the second. Flank up there quickly. Struggling to hold on to the pill. Dupont waits. But Dupont won't receive. Coming back to Lawrence Jarrett. And now Briggs look to open things up right on their own goal line. Five short now. Now Jarrett goes deep to Simon Olding. Gets his kick away just away from the sticks. And it falls to Teddy Thomas who would oh, love to run. He's smashed. And a forward pass as he threw it out the back. That was Crouch. a thunderous hit. Shame Fine. you don't see a replay of that. It was a brutal tackle. Set. And a set Thomas down on his backside in a flash. Get in from Lauren Jarrett and he looks to set his team away. That is a good little run there from Davis. Actually got away from the defence for finding his kick down to the 22 of Montpellier. And now Teddy Thomas straight things up. Busts through half a tackle and a chip and chase. Looking back there is Lauren Jarrett. He can't touch it. And Malins gets the pass away from Teddy Thomas. Now back to the 22 and ball in hand, Tal for Vanua. Dupont, Underhill looking for a second line break. Turned over in Banabi, he's so good at that. This is gonna be a penalty, surely back. No, kept alive for Brief. They do very nicely. Advantage. Durand up from fullback, knocks it on. And Minosi looking to spread his legs. Does Bradley, off goes to Mbimbi. And freeze it up. Minorsi is electric when he gets going. Here's Underhill. The down the over. touch line. Back to Tolafua. The forwards are loving this game so far tonight. Dupont keeps it low. Oh, big tackle. Gomez goes backwards. That looked like Fafita in that one. Stunder on the big Irishman. Trying to force his way over. What a try from Stunder. Blockbuster, big game player. The power in that body is astounding. Once he received the second wave short ball, Gummy's hitting a big tackle, it was for Peter as well, but a red headband straight through the uninterested defense of Davies. And then it carries over the tackle of Duran. That is a special play from Stunder. Taking a few notes from the game of Sanconi, no doubt about that. He's picked it up since Sanconi's had that little run in the stunning lineup while Stunder was injured. That's the impact we want from our number eight. It took a while, but we've got our second try. And after a little bit of pressure coming from Reeve, we have fought back well, weathered the storm, and put our second seven points on the board and lead this one 14 points to nil, heading towards the halftime break. But I would love to see a thumping in order here. I want to see our team really start to stand up for this title. 
There's a slight B team in this game. We gotta gotta lose the ball though. There's a big turnover there for Reeve. And here is Ebenabi! Charging his way upfield again. Nirantara sets us off left and right, up and down there, keeping things very alive there. Dave Carney wants a beat and Teddy Thomas can't do it. Now they're 10 minutes short. Can they get their opening points here, Breed, just before half time? Lirantara slips it back to Mbanami. They're going to maul here, and we know how much the South African hooker loves to maul upfield. Montpellier throwing the numbers, and they shut it down. Oh, that's poor. Really is poor. And Teddy Thomas runs it into his end goal, and will happily end this one at half time with a 14 point to nil lead. Breed struggling at the first half after plenty of opportunities. They trail 14 points to nil. But it is the Montpellier team who have had the better of their opportunities. They've taken the chances they've got and they've put a lot of pressure on Breed who have come back and struggled to make any points make it their way on the scoreboard. Good defense from Montpellier has kept them out so far and probably poor decision making as well as we saw that little grubber right at the end. Well, go nowhere near where it should have gone and easily diffused by Tsumaso Allen. We have the upper hand at the break, and I'm looking for us to push on here. Bonus points and a big win. A donut would be even better. Of course, Breve are very close to picking up their first points right there at the end of the half, but some good defense by this man, Tommaso Allen. Shut them out of the game as they trail by 14 points to nil, and look at that chase. Oh, Minozzi, he's electric. This turnover for Bumba. And a pass away to Allen as well. Now he's got Maylands with him. He's looking to link up. It's a shocking pass. And Fafita's picked it up. And it's come Blaise. away a terrible play from Montpellier. Fafita looking to get away from Dupont. Half does it. Finds Lay in the midfield. The big loose head prop goes trundling up out of the 22. And Zara, no way through there at all for him. Maylands tries to get the turnover. Now they go deep this time and... Kicked away from Davis. Teddy Thomas is back there. Now, what can he cook up this time? Big defense in front of him for Thomas. Takes out two. Gets up over halfway for the second wave of defense. Advantage. He's down Bumba. Oh, it was so special. He was half through the hole there, Bumba. They couldn't handle the heat on that pass from DuPont. Now the chance to attack for Breve if they want to use it. For feet and honest, and there's blue jerseys everywhere. They somehow find a hole through it. And eventually it's over. Jesse Quill who gets up over halfway. What an inside ball! Just about from Davis. He's chosen to kick. And it goes dead in goal. What a poor decision. Davis really has had a plethora of opportunities here. Crouch. He's just Fine. not made the right choices. That one. Set. Hit it at pace. Put him behind the defence. Had numbers with him. Look at the scrum. Montpellier possessed at the moment. Has stunned it. Has a little run. Dupont. Oh, net heavy there. It's Tommaso Allen. Switches inside. Gomez is on hand. Maylands round the corner. Tolafua. He won't go the distance. Maybe the Pippi will. He's got Lamarpe. And that's the magic combination. Negani Lamarpe doesn't need the power. Just a positional play. And the King puts him over. Try assist for our big number 11. But it's the number 12 of Negani Lamarpe that gets the job finished. Wow, this play was sensational, wasn't it? Everyone involved, Tolofua there, linking up between Maylands and, of course, Mapimpi. And then the finish of Champions. Lamarpe's been quiet, but now is the time to shine as we get to the business end of the season. Our third try, and it's still scoreless on the side of Breathe. Well, it's the performance we wanted. Like I said at the start, the pressure is on. And the team has been one of inconsistencies and complacency is probably the key word against these lower place sides as Tommaso Allen makes his point showing a good performance in from him tonight. Bellows on the bench, we know what he offers, but a good opportunity for Allen to show his wares and Lopez is about five days away from returning from injury. Then we have a full, completed team ready for more action. Then the bumper takes the kick off down. Reeves, so good. Under the kickoff situation. They've got another turnover. 
And now look to use on the short side for Fita, turning it back. Far so, a man who's not been too influential tonight after some cracker performances earlier in the season against us. Here's Imbanabi, so hard to put down as the hooker. Jara having a bit of a rumble through there. Anyway, from to get away. Here's Faso. Great scrum half, and he's found it to Levas. He gets another half a metre or so. Keeping it in the forwards and keeping it tight. Now, a bit of width on it. Fighting straight through a Stuart Holding. Takes out a couple of defenders. Gets there the 22. Levas play a rock turnover. What else can he do? Dupont. Poor pass. Mipimpi. He's got Bumba. Finds him as well. Tommaso Allen off the play from Denver Bumba. And Tommaso will make it four. And Montpellier in a canter. Try line to try line. That's how we do. 26 now. Kick to come. And Tommaso Allen may really be that ball playing fly half we've been searching so long for. Bello is good, but Tommaso really adds that different variation that we lack of a big explosive number 10. Lopez has been injured too much to really see what he has to offer, but this has been a revelation for Tommaso Allen tonight. Is he our key starting number 10 for the rest of the season? Is Bello the man to do the job? We've got options, plenty of them. As the injuries, fingers crossed, stay away for yet another matchup tonight. 28 points to nil. Last time we met, it was 28 7. Let's try to go one better and keep these guys down in 10th and down with a big dirty zero next to their name. Still 12 to play. There's still a chance, of course, to add more. 35 nil would be even better. Oh, Tomafuli gets a heavy hit. And this is going to be yellow card. Oh, he's been so good as Fafita tonight. Standout player in the black and white of Breathe. But sadly, his night is pretty much done. And speaking of sadly, we're going to have to make some changes as well. Because I do want to see um, just a couple of these other guys who have not seen much play get some time on the field. The likes of Gilda Sally, of course. Hamanac is for another one. Demba Bumba has been simply sublime tonight. And I'm not going to risk these guys. You know, they are starters. And we'll leave the rest of the game as it is for these guys. Guys like Tommaso Allen deserve a little bit more time out on the field. And after the performance they put in tonight, they probably deserve it as well. So a couple of front row changes. We'll see them now. Gilbert and Sally. Tolofua has been outstanding. Demba Bumba as well. Simply brilliant. How good is Demba Bumba? Really is a key player. One of our lowest rated players. Yet here he is, such a key man. Good to Sally to the back. And that is a dicey little run there from Antoine Dupont. So for Fanua gets it to stun down. And Maylands is running out wide. One more on the outside. And it's going to be Minozzi. That's the finish we wanted. Matteo Minozzi the try. And simple stuff from the set piece line out. Well, he's an excitement machine, is Minozzi. Full back, wing, midfield, we've had him everywhere. Quick ruck ball, that was the key from Tal for Fanua. And then Malins, options inside and out. La Mape and Minozzi unmarked. Three on one, the choices were made. Minozzi the try. And it's great to see him back in scoring play. Such an exciting little player. Fourth try, no, fifth try. That is the big one. We've got the bonus point wrapped up. Now it's a little bit of salt into the wound with four to play. Five tries to zip. And after that epic performance against Bordeaux last round, we've carried on this good form from that second half and put Breve to the sword in an epic encounter here of one-way traffic. If you're a Breve fan, you might want to look away because this one's ugly. And for a Montpellier, it's all sunshine and rainbows as we keep the pressure on now. And Underhill looking to carry his performance on. The strong run out of the 22. Gomez, look out. Now he's got oh, support on the inside. Tough for Vanilla was being left behind. Dupont turns it over. Big intercept. Wide for Mapimpi. Now can he find a way through? No, it's a shocker. And it's straight into touch. Mapimpi needs to keep the ball in hand. The crowd erupts. They're going 
Aesthetic! Their team has run rampant tonight and an epic display against Brief. Excitement from start to finish. Montpellier just wanted to run. Enjoying their rugby, enjoying it with confidence and enjoying a big 35-0 win over the lowly 10th placed Brief side. A performance and a scoreline we should be expecting against the bottom half. But even still, this was an exciting performance. Tries for Stunder, Allen, Lamape, Malins and Minozzi. At the end, the double M's. Allen, of course, from the tee. Perfect from conversions. Five out of five. For brief, well, no, nothing on that side whatsoever. They did, however, win the possession battle, but we were scoring tries for fun from everywhere on the field. When you're up 21 points to nil, you get a little bit of freedom to play a bit more expansively, and that is where Montpellier really excel. We let them have the ball, we crunch them to the ground, and we just play with that fun in the twinkle of the eye and get the points easily on the board. The yellow card to Fafita was a blow to breathe. He was their best player by far, and with him off the field, it opened up those outside channels even more. 35 to nil, lovely performance. And once again, we conclude another episode with no injuries from the match. Nope, the sliders haven't changed. They're still up where they were. They just come in fits and starts that you have a whole pile and then they tidy up. But it's, it's good to have the team fully fit for the stage of the tournament. But I really hope we can have a good, strong team ready for the playoffs, which are still five games away. We sit comfortably in the second spot. Claremont are chasing hard. They picked up a bonus point win in their 21st match as well. Still, the lead is 11. You can see though, Toulon, five games on the trot, losing, has killed their chance. It all started with us. It was a 2v3 battle, remember? We were in third, probably, well, five games ago, to be fair, and uh, we pumped them. And since then, they've lost everything. They were 13-3. and three. Now they're 13 and 8. What a turnaround of poor form from Toulon. We're comfortable though. Bordeaux, well, they're going to take first. We know about that. They still lead by 12 points. And of course, they got straight back on that winning horse after being pipped by us in the death of our big battle. But still, Clermont, Cast, and Stade Francais are right there on our tail. Next episode, well, brace yourselves. Because Bordeaux are one thing. Yes, we know what we're coming up against. But when you're facing Russing, the fruit drinks, if I'm not mistaken, one win, 20 losses, that is who is next. And it's almost as concerning as playing first. To be fair, if we lost to Bordeaux, I can understand. They're a damn good side. But if we lose to Russing, oh, I tell you what, there's not going to be much happiness going around the Montpellier camp. That is a team we should be thumping. I'm talking 40, 50 points against this side. Next episode, the pressure is on. We'll rotate a little bit more as well. We've got to keep the team as fit as possible. Alan had a good game. All those coming guys had a great game. So we'll keep those players in the team, fit and ready to go, get a little bit more rest, and make sure we've got key players for the key part of the season. Until then, though, thanks for tuning in and watching. I'll see you for Racing 92 next episode, where it better be another pleasing display and hopefully another donut. But until then, of course, thanks for watching and take care.